Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to create a mute and unmute command. So, um, I already have this down because um, this took me like around an hour to code and I don't want you to be um, typing this so I'm going to leave a paste bin in the description below and just copy and paste this into um, into your file. So, um, if you don't have this file, go to commands, um, create a new file and call it mute.js um, and then paste everything in here. So um, to do this, you need to, for this ms package right here, you need to go into the terminal and type in mpmi ms and hit enter and then wait for it to install. And then you can actually use it. So here we're just going to, um, so basically what I'm doing is I'm going to be um, explaining each line of code um, instead of typing it because that might take like 20-30 minutes. Um, I've typed it in a video and then um, my friend kind of joined the, the voice call on accident. Um, so I'm redoing this whole thing and I think it's actually better if I just explain it and you can copy and paste. So I'm not going to put the unmute thing because I still want people to watch. Because I know that if I do, um, if, if I just put everything in the paste then people are just going to copy and paste and do absolutely nothing. So, um, so here we're just um, defining Discord so we can use Discord message embed and MS for our time. Here we're using our um, our command handler, and now we're gonna define our logs channel. Okay, so this logs channel, uh, so this is where it's gonna log the different um, mutes and stuff like that. Um, you can actually apply this to to the warn command if you want. If um, if you've been following my warn command, you can just take this um, this logs variable right here, and then um, this var log and then just copy this um, and then just paste it in the warn. So um, right here, var verify, this is the emoji actually. Hold on, let me pull up the screen and let me show you what this looks like. Okay, so here, so this is the emoji right here, this little check mark. Hold on, it's getting sort of um, formatted. But um, I'm not sure if it's gonna. Oh, okay, there we go. So this is so this is my emoji, right? It's called yes. So I'm basically put this emoji into here. It's called yes, and it will send this as the emoji whenever I call it in a string. So um, that's what that's for. Okay. So make sure to customize this because if you don't have a channel called logs or an emoji called yes or something like that, like it, you're gonna get a bunch of errors and it's gonna spit out. Um, like can't find the value of this or something like that. So now we're checking to see if this person is a moderator. If they're not, um, so if they don't have the permission to manage messages, then uh, we're just going to return and ignore them. The target is the first mention. So this is the target of our mute. Um, or this is the or statement and you can get their ID. For some reason this ID thing hasn't worked. It might work for you, but if it doesn't, let me know in the comments and I'll try and find an alternative to this because I'm not sure if it's just for me because I've seen it work for other people, but um, yeah. So then we're checking to see if they actually mentioned someone. If they didn't, we're going to return message.reply. You need to mention a user for me to mute them. Var main, so this is our main rule. If you don't already have one, um, so mine is called verified, right? So this is the rule that everyone has, okay? So this is this is the verified rule. So if they go into rules and they verify themselves here, then they get access to everything. So basically my everyone rule can only see the rules. Um, and basically why we want this is so that basically um, people can't just bypass this because the uh, everyone um, rule has... So, so say this person doesn't have verified rule and they only have the mute rule, right? If the uh, everyone rule has permission to like um, send messages and view channels and stuff like that, then this mute rule will do absolutely nothing. Um, and especially if we have a verified rule um, and they have permission to send, this will probably not um, actually properly mute them. So that's why we need to um, define this, okay? So that we can actually remove this rule and add the mute rule later on. Okay, and then this one, pretty straightforward, mute rule, is going to be the, the name of your mute rule. Mine, as I just showed you, was mute. Var target ID is equal to the to the target's ID. Target the ID. 
So now, what this rx1 is, is it's basically the time that we want, okay? So in this one, we're not going to do a, a reason because it's just really complicated because um, say, so so it's not the same as the other reasons for like kick and ban because there's a time added into here. So basically, there's like endless, uh, not endless, there's like a few possibilities. Like they could do mute and then the user, right? And then they could just put the reason. Okay, and if the and basically we're expecting this to be a number, and if this is not a number, um, then it will just spit out a bunch of errors. So that's why we're not doing the reason for this one. The face of this could be like a temp mute and a hard mute command. Um, I'll like identify where those are, so maybe you can make two separate commands. So basically, if there is no time, then we're just gonna hard mute them. Okay, so so here target the ID. No, target ID that rolls that add, and we're gonna add the mute rule, okay? That we specified up here to meet them. We're gonna remove their main rule so that they don't have permission to send messages with their verified rule. So now um, we're gonna send a confirma confirmation embed, um, and we're gonna set the color to this. It's um, it's pretty sure it's a turquoise greenish thing. It's this color right there. And we're gonna set the description to our emoji. This is our emoji right here that we defined up here. And then target, okay, so when we do this, um, and then we put the ID of the user, and then this ending bracket actually pings them. So, um, yeah, that's pretty cool, I think. So, and then has been success successfully, sorry, I'm having some trouble speaking and pronouncing things today. Has been successfully muted by the message author. So the message author is obviously the person that wrote the command, the mute command. Until you unmute them using the unmute command. Because remember, this is a hard mute. So, um, this hard mute, it, like, it doesn't expire. Like, you have to unmute them using the unmute command. So, then we're going to send the confirmation message that they have been muted in the channel that, um, that the command has been run in. And then we're going to make our log. If our log is equal to new discord message embed. Okay, we're going to set the color to the same thing. Um, it's basically just the same thing, except has been hard muted by message author. And it's, it's practically the same thing, but it sends in a log instead. Um, this, would, this would usually be useful if um, if you had a reason, because usually you wouldn't put like a reason here, right? Um, but you would put it in the logs. So um, I might do a fix to this maybe later, but I, mean, I kind of don't want to. So var user logs. So this is the embed that we're going to be sending <coughs> to the person. So you have been, let me actually change this to hard muted. Um, okay, so then this is this is the embed that they get sent. And then we're going to try sending it, sending it to the user. And we're going to catch the error in, in case anything goes wrong. And we're just going to return all this stuff. Okay, and then, um, yeah, so then we're going to add the mute role. We're going to remove the main role. Um, and what this is, is... Like, like, so after this ends, it's basically saying if, if, like, so, so we're saying if there's no args, right? So if there's something else, I mean, I guess you could just do else here, but I mean, it still works either way. So, um, this basically is like, um, if this is not true, so the opposite of this would be if there is a time, right? So, um, then we would just add and remove the same thing that we did. So this is just muting them. And then confirmation, same thing. But this time we're going to list the time that they've been muted for. Um, actually, there's like no point in the log. So I'm just going to do this. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll just keep it for now. Because um, kind of looks a bit better. Okay, so this is MSMSR. So it's, um, it's basically whatever you put. As, as how long you want to mute them so it would say so say you muted someone for 10 seconds right so it would put the emoji that you defined you would add the user that you warn has been successfully i'm not warned muted but it's successfully muted by the message author for and then say you because you muted them for 10 seconds it would say for 10 seconds okay and you send it um and then the same thing with the log except you just add the time again you send the log in the logs channel and then the same thing, except, um, yeah, so, so right here, message.field.name, this, so, if you want, you can replace this, 
if your bot is like a public bot or something, um, you could do message.kill.name instead of just having one server name. Um, and then this time we're going to put expires to let them know when the punishment expires, right? So then we're going to try sending it again. Um, if that doesn't work, then we're just going to catch it so our bot doesn't crash. And then we're going to set a timeout because um, this will actually expire on like the hard mode. So set timeout. This is going to be a function. And um, once, once this time, so it's basically saying after this time, so say it was 10 seconds, after 10 seconds, then we're going to do whatever's in here. So right here, it's remove the mute rule and add back the main rule. So it's just unmuting them, right? So um, then for the hard mute, right? Like because it doesn't expire, you have to create an actual unmute command. So unmute.js, this is the unmute.js. It's extremely short. Um, so obviously, same thing here. Let me add a semicolon. Um, command handler, and then just defining the, the person that we wanted to unmute. Um, if there's no if there's no user, um, we're just gonna say you have to um, specify a user for me to unmute them, and then we're gonna get their ID as well. Um, we're gonna define our verified and our mute so we can move the mute role and add the main role. Um, so yeah, this will just properly unmute them, and we can just send a confirmation message instead of an embed. And I guess if you want it to look a bit cleaner, you could do. Um, you could do an embed, so just so just make sure that you specify the verify. If you want, I can actually show you how to do this really quick. Um, this is loading a bit. Let's try and copy this. Okay. Finally loaded. Okay. We would go to our unmute file. Uh, my computer's really lagging right now. There we go. Okay, you go to your unmute. Let's specify this really quick. And then let's get our confirmation embed that we had um in our mute command, not the not the warrant one. Okay, so our confirmation. Let's get the one without the here. There we go. Instead of this, can do this. Has been successfully unmuted by this person we don't need this other part okay and we're gonna send the confirmation so let's just save this really quick terminal new terminal okay and let's actually run and then we can we can test this out it's loading okay so now let me grab the Chrome tab. Okay. Let's wait for it to say this online. There we go. Okay, so now let's actually properly mute them. Alright, so we're gonna mute at socket full dude. So first let's try hard muting him. Alright, so let's just hard mute. Has been successfully muted by Joey Bean. So you unmute them using the unmute command, right? So now let's actually unmute, unmute at soccer cool dude. Okay, and it's gonna unmute them. And now let's actually try muting them for like 10 seconds or something like that. Okay, and after 10 seconds it should unmute. Let's just wait a tiny bit. And there we go. Um, so yeah, that's the end of this video. Um, I, so basically, I have some exciting news. Um, I have actually gotten the, the warn command, like with the database and everything, working for myself. So I might be doing a tutorial, like after this series is done, because this is like a database tutorial. It's not easy, let me tell you. There's like a lot of code, and you need schemas, and you need to download MongoDB, and you connect it to your port, and... Yeah, there's just a lot of stuff to do, so I'm probably not going to do it in this particular series. I might do it um, maybe later, maybe in this series, but um, yeah, so I hope you did enjoy this video. If you have any problems, be sure to join my server, Joey's Joke, um, and I can try and help you out. And I think that should be it. Uh, I hope you enjoy your day, and if you did enjoy, like and subscribe. 
um, leave a nice comment as well. Um, and yeah, goodbye.